revocation of nationalities, in my view, is, is a little complex. Well, first of all, it's a matter for the Minister of Immigration. But um, let's say, for instance, the person who got his nationality 10, 15 years ago, who now has a Belizean child, um, you revoke that person's nationality has a kind of a domino effect. That one has to be able to determine how we're going to deal with those long-term effects. And we haven't reached that point in our conversations. But we can pursue that discussion, uh, CEO. But why does it matter? If that person fraudulently obtained Belizean nationality, why would you as CEO concern yourself with the consequence of the revocation of that nationality? No, I, 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 I would be concerned because uh, there are two things. One, I believe that it is not in all cases that those individuals who get the final product were aware that they may have been duped. But also, you might end up with individuals who are stateless. And so, what happens? It's a, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a government policy issue which has to be looked at. I'm concerned. I just want to be clear. Your position is that before nationality is revoked for a person who obtained it fraudulently, the question of the consequence of that revocation needs to be considered before the minister decides to actually do the revocation. I personally, I believe so. I believe we must look at it. All right. Um, very disturbing, but I respect your position.